from the side, Aaron Henry, nothing but that. He got it. Nice shot there by Henry. And speaking of our top scorer, Aaron Henry, he just drove the baseline. Aaron Henry has really improved to me as a finisher at the rim. 2020's been a lot. You know, it's, it's been ups and it's been downs. When the season was over, I was a little bit distraught. Honestly, I feel like we had a lot of good basketball left to play. I felt like we were good enough to do some special things and, and maybe compete for some championships. But, you know, knowing the player that I am, knowing I could compete at any level, really prepared me for it. Me dipping my toes in the NBA. The process was different, for sure. Everybody's was different than mine because of COVID and everything. And I learned a lot, you know, the, the type of player that I am what I need to get better at, what teams are looking out of for me, where I need to grow to get as much feedback as possible. That was important. I talked to Denzel, Draymond. They always reach out to me. They're always helping me in situations like these with decision making, because they've been here before. They've won a lot of things here at this school. So it's almost a good path to, I don't want to say follow, but you know, to, to look at their footsteps and see how they did it, what they did, and take any advice they give me and just hold it tight. Having that type of family is important. You know, I've, I'm trying to do something that I've never done before with people that have already been in my shoes before and that are where I want to be. Those are some people that I need to follow and, and learn from and, and maybe just hit up more frequently just to understand what they did and how they did it. You know, and the mindset that I need to have, the things I need to do, you know, how to separate myself and become where, where you guys are. I came back to MSU because I want to reach my full potential. You know, I'm getting coached by one of the best coaches in the country, you know, with the best staff and the best teammates. And that's not biased, that's, that's the honest truth to me. And I just want to win a national championship and do all the right things that, that Michigan State has done by, right by me. You know, one of the main conversations I had with him was, I don't want guys half in. If he couldn't be all the way in, I thought it was better for him to go. and. Uh, he talked about it then, that once he made his decision, he was going to be all in. And I think Aaron has grown as much as any player I've had in a lot of years uh, as far as emotionally with his uh, uh, basketball. And, and of course, uh, you know, like we all do, we grow up when we get a year older. And I think it's been a, a great decision for Aaron, uh, not for us just, but for him. It has been the junior Aaron Henry that has been so fantastic so far. Well, he's a little bit of everything. A Swiss Army knife. He's one of two players to average 11 points, five rebounds, five assists, and two steals. He can do everything on this floor. He's been asked to do more. He'll run the point guard a little bit. So I'm looking forward to kind of see his development from the point guard position and forward. I think Aaron has done a great job of you know, building on his role, you know, I think coming in as a freshman, at first he didn't play a ton, um, and then with Josh's injury, um, you know, he really stepped into his role. He stepped into his uh, kind of mold and just doing whatever he was asked to. So I think it's been awesome watching him transform um, since he was a freshman, just continually building on his role, um, continuing getting better, um, stepping up and making more plays, doing more things. You know, he's such a great defender that, you know, that's not going anywhere for him. It's just continuing to do the things that he really excels at and then adding parts to his game, which I think he's done a great job of this offseason. Nine to two run, a Euro step, and Aaron Henry somehow got that to drop. Past two years and the progression that I've had, the leaders that we've had before, ex-players that I've played with, and just overall experience here at this school has really helped me into the player that I am today, and more so the leader. You know, it's helped me on and off the court and, and carrying that and that weight. I mean, it comes with a lot of responsibility, but. I feel like I'm prepared and I've met my time and uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited for it. You know, believe it or not, I just think it's his maturity and that doesn't mean he was totally immature, but I, I think players go through this. Uh, do coaches tell them things that they want to hear, that they need to hear? Are they telling them for the right reasons or wrong reasons? I felt all year Aaron and I have been on the exact same page, you know, what I think is needed of him both as a player and as a leader. And I think what he thinks are, uh, I've been etched in stone and I think we, uh, we're moving in the same direction. I mean, it's a lot of stuff that he's doing differently. Like his approach to the game is like different. And I feel like he's, he's taking it more and more serious every day. 
like with the stuff he do and he's trying to get better every day. And uh, I mean, just like his presence at for for us is big. And I think he's really taking that role and making it the best that he can do with it. And I feel like he's gonna be good. I think Aaron's done such a good job, um, you know, just leading by example, being out there each and every day and putting in that work, um, doing all the little things that he's supposed to. You know, it's it's fun to see a guy grow in that respect. You know, he spent more time on the game. His practice has been better. His shooting has been better and more consistent. Uh, you know, one of the things we talked about is he had to get to the basket more and get fouled more. and and become even better defensively. I think those three areas he's grown enormously in. And uh, it's just uh, been fun to coach him. I still have room to grow, things to get better at, just more to show. There was no bad decision either staying or going. You know, only chance to improve myself and to get better. And that, I, that's what I did, that's what I'm doing. Taking advantage of my time that I'm given, you know, staying in the gym as much as possible and the rest take care of itself. I can still learn from them, young or old. You know, I can teach. I can, I can bring guys up. You know, and, and show them what I went through and what not to do. And I'm a team guy. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a family guy, and that's what Michigan State's all about. You know, I'm about the next person. It's never about me. With me being that type of person, I feel like the sky's the limit for everybody, because I hold everybody accountable to that. And, and it's it's all shared success. You know, not one guy is getting success without the next man. So I'm happy for me, just like somebody would be happy for themselves. I'm trying to play winning basketball, be a leader, take the right shots, make the right plays, play the best defense I can, and just do whatever it takes for my team to win. I've always been a team player, a winner, you know, a guy that's winning a lot of levels, and, and hopefully I can take that to the NBA one day.